Okay, Vikings, welcome back to Valhalla and another the sandlog. And if you like this content, please subscribe. I, I can see by the traffic that most of you watching are not subscribers, and it will it will help if you subscribe and if you like to have the updates, please do. Uh, or if you don't, that's fine as well. <laughs> <laughs> so let's dig into uh, the progress on the on the weekend. Um, lately, it's been mostly prototyping, so uh, not so much designing. Of course, there's a lot of work going into uh, something that detailing you, many things you don't see. Like these Y carriers have been detailing a lot of iterations. Um, um, I'm at um, version 64 now. Um, I think they are very close to being finished if we can manage to place the idlers. And um, yeah, so I designed these motor brackets. As if you saw the project update, if you didn't, I will try to place a card up here for you to watch the project update. You can see the prototype and uh, the motor brackets. And today I designed these guys, the idler brackets, the XY corner idler brackets, uh, which is interesting. And this machine has another belt path than the Wee King, if you know the Wee King, because I can talk about what is the difference. Uh, the difference is that these two idlers in uh, which is attached to the um, x-axis They are on top of each other uh, on the weekend they are side by side and Then on the corner these are side by side and on the weekend they are on top of each other So that's a, that's a difference this is similar to what uh, the rail core uh, does um, and there's no really no difference in uh, um, anything because the result is the same uh, it's only placement of idlers and placing them like this rather than having side by side on the x-axis saves us some space so we will get more travel for the x and we do not restrict anything on the y so this is I think nice we should uh, work with this and see if we how that works out so these are the either idler brackets which I have printed you can see here and I'm gonna place some idlers in them they are printed on the weaking beautiful 75 millimeter a second uh, 0.25 layers and we have the Y carriers <laughs> it's very tiny small nice carriers and we have the forks all very accurate of course printed on the wicking um, so they go inside here and we have um, yeah these are the mini wheels, they are so small, so they are going to into here. Very nice to have those parts. So I'll fit them together, place everything together and see if I have enough, if enough hardware to uh, fit everything. I need some M5s here, which are M5 by 35, I think. So, I also, I did not have enough uh, good corner brackets. I had a lot of 2017 these what you see on the screen are 2028s Which are much uh, better to have a rigid and perpendicular frame the 2017s does not do much and The corner cubes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use or not. I do have eight corner cubes but anyway, I would like to tap some of the extrusion ends like these guys because then if i tap these guys like you see in the design i can use it for the brackets i can uh, put a screw in here and align everything much uh, better 
then it will be easier also to uh, to assemble everything so um, I'm making a tapping tool so here's the tapping tool so you just put this onto the end of the extrusion and uh, you get a M5 tap and this tool will guide this into the extrusion in the right direction so it doesn't get skewed so this is currently printing actually actually you see on the wiki we are almost done um, that's only a few more minutes and that's done and 95 percent right now as you can see here So that's nice. Printing at 75. So, um, or else there's not really much uh, new. Uh, I've been using much time, of course, on prototyping. So that's uh, going well. And um, designing a little bit, uh, detailing a lot. Uh, so the progress is not like huge, but I also have another job. So, yeah, there, there's only so much time. What we need to focus on now, the next, for the next log, the next project update will be to place these idlers. So that's the next big question. These are 20 tooth idlers. And I think we are going to work with that. I did get some comments about 20 tooth regarding, I did ask about, should we use 16 tooth or 20 tooth? But I have a lot of 20s, they are so accessible and um, there's no big reason to go with 16 but if we are going with 16 then we need to change the design because uh, these holes will not be as far apart as they are with 20 tooth and that's very very important designing these machines that you get the idlers on the right spot or you, everything you print will be have wrong dimensions if if the belt path is off on a core xy then your parts will come out with wrong dimensions they will not be what they should be like 100 by 100 will not be that so that's why it's so important to have the either layers placed absolutely in the right path that's that's the most important uh, thing with a core xy uh, kinematic system i think but um let us have a look at these idlers and then i'm going to wrap this up so as you can see they are a little bit close to the grub uh, not the grub screw but the tension screw this could be a grub screw if we do find the m4 grub screw then it could be down into the fork and then we don't have any place issues also if you see from the front we are currently running around the grub screw um that is okay but we are very close with these idlers we cannot be so close unless we go with a grub screw so what we should do is move these guys uh, somewhere uh, probably we should move them over here i think and that's perfectly fine we can have them there but how are we going to place them there i mean we need probably one more part as we also have on the weekend we have one part for these idlers and that could be you know i don't want to make the y carriers too complex and i don't want to use too much support so i'm designing for limited support always and that's why i rather have one more part to place outside on uh, the Y carrier as a bracket which can hold these guys and, th and that's perfectly fine as long as we don't interfere with the wheel so we need to be over here somewhere and um, that's what i'm trying to figure out for 
the next project update or vlog for you guys. Any comments? Leave me a, a comment. There's been a lot of feedback, feedback on the project update and I'm very happy about that. Uh, you are helping out a lot and making me think differently. That's a good thing. So yeah, we let's do this together and let's build this baby. So that's wrapping up from Valhalla and uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.